In this dystopia, opposing a genocide is considered worse than committing one. All the frenzied shrieking about pro-Palestine protests at universities these last few days makes it clear that our civilization is so twisted and insane that it sees protesting a genocide as far worse than committing one, which is about as backwards as any society could possibly be. Seriously, try to imagine a crazier, more upside-down civilization than one which gets more angry at people protesting genocidal atrocities than it does at people committing them. A civilization where people wear their pants on their head and walk backwards all day? That would be less crazy. A civilization where the dogs own the people and the children go to work while the parents go to school? That would be less crazy. It's as wrong as you can possibly get anything in this world. It's actually hard to imagine how anyone could get anything more wrong. If you've accepted daily massacres of innocent civilians as the baseline normal and appropriate thing, and regard any opposition to this as a freakish and evil abomination, then you're as screwed up and confused about reality as any other stark raving lunatic in town. Maybe worse. To view non-stop mass military slaughter as moral, and opposition thereto as immoral, is to live in a mental moral universe that has been flipped on its head. It's to inhabit a reality tunnel that has become completely divorced from reality. But that's the kind of mainstream worldview that the political media class in this society are working to indoctrinate us into, day in and day out, throughout our entire lives. I just saw a tweet from the commentator Brianna Joy Gray saying that in order to find any mention in the New York Times of the hundreds of Palestinians and mass graves that are being discovered in Gaza, she had to scroll past no fewer than four stories about pro-Palestine protests on college campuses, including two op-eds which criticized the protesters. What kind of warped, fucked-up dystopia is this? where that's the kind of mainstream news outlet people are getting their information and ideas from. Our entire civilization is saturated with reality-distorting propaganda like this, and it's making people insane. It's got our moral compasses flipped 180 degrees from our true north, and our inner sense-maker tuning in to frequencies of nothing but garbled static. That's how crazy they need us to be to keep us supporting a globe-spanning empire that literally cannot exist without non-stop violence and tyranny. They need us thinking up is down and black is white. They need us not just unable to tell the difference between right and wrong, but actually believing that wrong is right and right is wrong. So they pound our collective consciousness day in and day out with extremely aggressive psyops in the form of mass media propaganda to ensure that our insides are scrambled around enough to consent to the amount of depravity necessary for our rulers to continue dominating this planet. This is what our ruling class has decided will be normal, as Aaron Bushnell said moments before lighting himself on fire in protest of the genocide in Gaza. A society where mass graves get less media attention than university protesters. A society where more political firepower is going into stopping pro-Palestine demonstrations on college campuses than ending Israel's murderous assault on an enclosed enclave packed full of children. A society where trying to stop a genocide is considered evil and committing one is considered good.